Hi, welcome to today's training video. I am going to be training Harriet uh, to pick up this pen, just an ordinary push pen. Uh, Harriet is being trained for some service work. She does know how to pick up large objects, but not little ones. My signal to her is Harriet, go. Good girl. So she already put her mouth on it. So I'm going to pay a little bit more. So in our approximations, we're learning to dance between steps. You're very pretty, but standing there is not going to help. Go. Good girl. There you go. And so I give varying treats. She got liver, duck. So it depends on the behavior she's giving me. So just like money, treats can be used in variable increments and currency. Good girl. A bit of liver. If she picks it up, I'll give more treats. A mixture of everything. So this is going to be hard for her because she has a very powerful mouth. <laughs> and it's hard for her to take things that are, to pick up things that in a light manner. She tends to pick up things with a very hard force and then breaks everything. Okay, so she picked it up. So I'm gonna give a variety of things, including all of the above mentioned. And then Albert gets a treat just for laying down there and being nice. Oh, good job, good girl, good girl. You be when Harriet is super happy, she beeps when she eats. Good girl. Oh my God, that was so very good. I'm going to give her a lot of treats. Ugh, my fingers are slow. I'm just going to close the pen because it was open. So yeah, you hear her beep. It's Harriet. She beeps a lot when she's eating snow. So one treat, just took it and flung it. Now I want her to pick up the pen and bring it to me like this, but oh, she's the one opening the pen. Ah, okay, that's interesting. It's open again, so I'm gonna close it. Good girl, all right, good girl. So she's never done pen before. As I said, it's a small object for her. She's done bigger things like my wallet, uh, some toys, some pieces of clothing. Although I tend to not do clothing because it gets really drooly. Excuse me, gently. Okay, that was, I don't know what that was. Are you playing with it or bringing it? It's not very clear, so I'm not gonna roar that. There you go, that's a bit more clear. So she gets a treat. Yeah, I think she's playing with it. Whoa, 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 we're not destroying it. Harriet, Harriet, it's no breaking. I need the pen. Take. Good girl. She knows give because that's a word we use often. It's still closed. Take. Yeah, oh, good girl. Almost, almost a give. Almost in my hand. She dropped it before. It's a very gross pen. Already full of jewel. So the success of approximations can be taught fairly quickly for a dog that's used to being trained this way. And because we do social cognitive learning, um, they pick up faster on cues because we have this amazing attachment. Hey, dinosaur, are you a pretty dinosaur? Did you just fart? When she looks at her butt, Harriet farted, especially when she's worried about it. What are you doing? It's okay to fart. Oh yeah, how you get, there you go. Good problem solving. 
Okay, just two. One for the Albert. Uh, no, that was more play than take. Give. Oh, good girl. You didn't see that. Okay, we're going to try that again. I'm going to try to put my hand out here so you can see it. It's a bit high for her, though. Harriet, find it. Good girl. Okay. It's not very obvious to... Whoops. What is she... Looking for, no, that's not treats. It's your mud. Here it take. Give. It's a bit high. What are you doing? No, that's no go. Nothing from that. Give. Oh. Good girl. There you go. She wants to play with it a bit more than she wants to work with it, so. You find it? Did you find it? There you go. So I'm gonna try that again. Harriet, give. That's touch. I don't need you to <laughs> Okay, stop. No reward for that, okay. Give. New treats. Give. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. It's not well refined yet, but that's fine because that's not the behavior. So when we're shaping our, see it's opened again. When we're shaping through approximations, we're dancing between steps. So we have to first and foremost establish the first uh, step, which is take it. And then the second step, which is to give it in my hand. No, Albert, I know you know how to do this. It's okay. So no treats because that was just nothing. Give. Ugh, missed. Whoa, whoa, gently. Whew. Give. Nope. Give. Harriet. Okay. You're getting excited. Touch. Okay. You're getting a little bit excited. And this drool, this pen is getting very, very drooly. I'm going to wipe it a little bit. There we go. Give. Good girl. Good girl. So the give will get refined with time so in about we're at nine and a half minutes on the video I'm gonna upload it non-edited um, and you'll see that uh, within that 10 minute session we can get the foundation of a behavior and it's not finished it's not a refined behavior it doesn't even have a name so when it does have a name uh, it'll be called pen what that means is that when I say the word pen, you have to go pick it up and bring it to me and give it in my hand, not throw it in there. So she does it better with bigger things, but this is, yeah, a little small pen. So out, we're gonna do it one more time and then we'll break because I think she needs to go to the bathroom. Give, give, take, give. Here you, you can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. Give. You don't break it. Take. Give. Girl, that was beautiful. We're ending here because we always end on a positive note on a successful approximation so that when the dog goes to sleep, it will consolidate a good memory. So if you finish on a failure, the dog is going to go to sleep and consolidate a failure. So your dogs are basically learning to fail. So every time you're finished a training session, you give the signal that it's over and then uh, they can play if they want to, but uh, they will need to sleep soon after the exercise as fast as possible. So this is Miss Queen Supreme signing off and saying, see you later. Bye-bye now. Touch. Good girl.